most common subjects I get asked about is turf grass. It's very simple to grow turf grass with the organic program, a lot easier than with synthetics because you don't create problems. You also aren't having to deal with a toxic chemical. You fertilize less often, you have less disease, less insect problems, and it works better in every way, including from an economic standpoint. So we use the fertilizer program of three applications a year, especially when you're just starting. One application in the very early spring, that means late February. Literally, it's still cold. The second fertilization is in early summer, usually in June. And then the third one will be September, October. It'll vary a little bit depending on where you are. Other than fertilizing less often, fertilizing with an organic fertilizer is, is exactly the same as using a synthetic fertilizer. This happens to be a fertilizer that's a blend of organic uh, material. There is no problem at all with handling it. And you can put it out by hand. You can put it out with smaller spreaders if you like, but uh, by hand works fine. I always do when I'm applying the fertilizer to the turf is that I go one direction and then I crisscross going the other direction so you get a nice even coverage. If you've been organic for a while, you can start cutting back on how many pounds per thousand square feet. Again, start with 20 pounds per thousand square feet and then slowly cut back to 15 and maybe when you're really healthy, the soil is really healthy, you can cut back to 10 pounds per thousand square feet. We are here at my local organic garden center uh, to have a quick lesson about organic fertilizers. This is one of the best. This is rabbit manure. Um, it's crumbled into a very fine texture. It looks like coffee grounds, but it can be used at the same rates as these other fertilizers and is powerful, very powerful. A little bit dusty in that form. This is maybe one of, well, this is one of the most powerful organic fertilizers of all. That is bat guano. Again, for, best for use in smaller areas, potted plants, uh, vegetable gardens, things like that, rather than broadcast on a large scale. The granulated fertilizers are really better for that. This is dry molasses. It worked as a wonderful soil amendment and fertilizer. This is the most powerful organic fertilizer that we use on a large scale. This is corn gluten meal. This is the protein fraction of corn meal. Now this last one here, this is um, corn meal, but it's not regular corn meal from the grocery store that you'd make uh, cornbread from. This is called horticultural corn meal. It's actually the outside edge of the corn kernel. It's the bran and the germ, the good value part of corn. And of course that's a whole other story, but this is used as a horticultural tool to fight diseases. Now the final fertilizer to tell you about is a group in general. This is Garrett Juice. This is one of my favorites. It's a formula that was invented uh, some time ago. It's a mixture of compost tea, molasses, vinegar, and seaweed. So for your turf applications, I would use one of the blended fertilizers like this. Or if you're concerned about weeds, the corn gluten meal because it is the natural weed and feed fertilizer, whichever you choose, it's time to put out that fall application right now, so let's get it done. Well, I wouldn't recommend that you do this unless you're using the organic approach and not using the chemical fertilizers and pesticides. I hope you learned something today about fertilizing and enjoy your garden. I'm Howard Garrett, the Dirt Doctor, and I'll see you next time. For more information on my organic program, visit our website at yourhouseandhome.tv. Next on Your House and Home, Joe Sharinsky brings music to the outdoors with wind chimes. Stay tuned.